complex post-traumatic stress disorder, a mental disease you get from narcissists. How do you get these from them? Well, you get CPTSD after experiencing abuse and from narcissists. Ever wonder why you got them? Well, I'm going to share the 10 reasons why you got CPTSD from narcissists. 10. You allowed yourself to be abused by narcissists. Have you noticed that you keep allowing yourself to be abused by your narcissistic husband, wife, or partner? Without noticing, we allow ourselves to be abused over and over and over again. The cycle never ends unless we decide to put an end to it once and for all. But how do we put an end to a cycle when our narcissistic partner keeps on abusing and apologizing again? We need to train ourselves that when we say no, it should mean no. Allow yourself to manifest the word no by putting it into action. Do not allow yourself to be abused always because it will take a long time for you to recover if you tolerate the abuse. 9. You let the narcissist control you. This is the one thing that you should never allow in your marriage or relationship. But what can we do? They only reveal their true colors when they were able to obtain your trust heart, and any other information, and it makes them think that they're allowed to control us in every way they can. We shouldn't allow ourselves to be controlled or even manipulated by the narcissist, because there will come a time that they will make us do things that are against our principles and values. How about you? Are you subconsciously allowing yourself to be controlled by your narcissistic husband? wife or partner you need to control yourself in every way you can eight you let yourself get affected by the abuse when we're able to escape from the clutches of our narcissistic partner do we overthink or make ourselves suffer from the after effects of the abuse when we're able to get the chance to get out of that abusive relationship we sometimes suffer from flashbacks where we were abused physically and emotionally. It's hitting us hard every time we remember about our narcissistic husband, wife, or partner. And this affects our mental health so much to the point that we want to end our lives. This is because we allow ourselves to get affected by it subconsciously. So when the time comes that we are free from that abusive marriage or relationship, we have to mentally train ourselves to be free and be better than we were during the time when we were still suffering from the abusive marriage or relationship. How about you? Are you going through the same phase that you're still being abused or letting yourself get affected by flashbacks of being abused? 7. You always think about the abuse How are you holding up after the breakup of your narcissistic husband, wife, or partner? Are you still thinking of the abuse? Are you still thinking of the experience you went through? Are you still thinking about your narcissistic husband, wife, or partner? Or are you regretting that you left your abusive narcissistic husband, wife, or partner? Why are you thinking too much when you are already free? Well, it was still fresh when we left, so it's very hard to forget it in an instant. But try to convince yourself that you're now free from that abusive marriage or relationship and you're now going to start a new life. Sometimes we always think about what happened or why it happened and why did we allow it to happen. Don't think too much about it because if you do, you might suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. 
So always remember when you think about yourself, think about it that you are now free from the abuse. 6. Even if you escape, they keep on haunting you. When you're able to escape the abuse and experience you went through from your narcissistic husband, wife, or partner, do they keep haunting you in your mind? We go through this because we allow ourselves to be haunted subconsciously. Even if we are out of their clutches, they keep on following us up to the present. Because we know that there will come a time that we will be able to see them again. That is the one thing that we should avoid in our entire life. We should meditate and focus on ourselves to have peace of mind and to get over the abuse. 5. You're still having nightmares about the abuse. Having nightmares, especially if it's still fresh, is normal. Especially when we're still afraid that our narcissistic husband, wife, or partner suddenly appears right in front of us. We tend to imagine that they are still there abusing us emotionally and physically from time to time. That would cause us to have nightmares every time we sleep. In this case, we should see a specialist in order to know further on how to get over it and move on with our lives. Are you still having nightmares right now? 4. The narcissist still control your mind even if you're not together. This is the moment where, even if you are no longer together, you still imagine that they're still in control of every action you do. You notice that the things you do in your new place are still the things that they want you to do. Because it's still fresh from the moment you left your narcissistic husband, wife, or partner, they always tend to dictate your every move when you're still living with them. They want to be the first ones to know where you are and what you're doing. It's better for you to start meditating and consult a psychologist on a regular basis in order for you to maintain your sanity. Also, that you can be ready whenever you see your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner once again. If you're going through this, try to be strong and try to control every action you do in your new life. 3. You're afraid of the narcissist when they find you. Of course, when it's still fresh, we're afraid that our narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner will find us immediately because we'll go through the same abusive and toxic relationship again. We don't want that, which is why even if it's still fresh, we should train ourselves to be ready. Even if we are suffering from CPTSD because of our narcissistic husband, wife, or partner, we should face our fears so that we will get the chance to overcome them. We can maintain control of our lives and not live according to their wishes. Because the more we think about it, the more we suffer from CPTSD. Are you afraid that your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner will find you immediately? 2. You still long to be together with your narcissistic husband. Do you regret escaping from the clutches of your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner and wish that you would still be with them after the abuse and many more forms of narcissistic toxic relationship? Well, this is the after effects of the experience you went through. Even if we no longer desire it, subconsciously, we still want to be with them because we think that they're the ones who understand us more than anyone else. This is due to the love bombing strategy that they imposed on us. They were able to take our hearts so easily. So do you still long to be with your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner? Don't even think about it. 1. You gaslight yourself. Ironically, because of the shock and after effects of the narcissistic abuse, you're now the one gaslighting yourself that you're not capable of anything. You think that you can't do anything without your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner. 
This is because they're the ones who fed you with lies and deception. You think that you don't deserve to be happy because you left them behind. The truth is, you're the one who needs to be happy. You need to be happy because of what you went through for your narcissistic ex-husband, wife, or partner. So don't try to gaslight yourself with words that don't even hold any truth. Be free, live free, and be happy with your life because you deserve to be happy. Complex post-traumatic stress disorder or CPTSD can be caused by narcissists by continuing to abuse you in any form. This is the effect you get even after you leave your narcissistic partner. You can only be happy if you learn to acknowledge what happened and of course, forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have made. Seek a professional psychologist for help so that you can start your healing. Have you ever thought about why narcissists act and think the way they do? Do you think a narcissistic person will always remain that way? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video.